Welcome back, everyone. I don't think I need to say it. My territory is a little more populated than I would like. Somehow, I guess as a result of maybe destroying all the shipyards, we got ourselves more pirates to deal with. A lot more pirates. And shipyards that apparently are really efficient at what they do. I am looking at two snipers, which is basically a small possibly a tiny or small type of fighter there. Yeah, it's probably this. A sniper, four points of damage being built in two turns as opposed to like the 15 turns, so... Maybe it was not a good idea to destroy all those pirate shipyards, I think. Thankfully, we are not completely helpless. I got a fleet of pulverizers here that could probably take out the majority of them by himself. And I have more pulverizers to converge down here. And the rest are kind of set away from the majority of my empire. Although this star base is vulnerable to getting killed. Also, let me take a look at their movement and all that too. That might help. Just judge what I have to work with. So four movement for the big ones, two movements for the tiny. So they're not very mobile, so... I think this star base will be safe for another two turns. Question big then becomes, can I reinforce that in two turns? I have nine hexes to work with, so I want to say no, possibly. No, it's not going to be able to reach it next turn. I want to say this one might be able to, though. I'm going to have to adjust my mobility a little bit. Because, let's see, four hexes, so... Yeah, I'll be, they'll be able, the bigger ones will be able to attack in two turns, and with the overlords attacking from two angles, they may get overwhelmed. This is, put a little hamper on my plans, just a little bit. So yeah, I'm a bit speechless on what to do, so let me just uh, get myself situated. We're going to upgrade the star base here. We've got two upgrades available to us. So get culture. Get some weaponry on there because I think that's pretty important. Ooh, we got access to two different weaponry there now if we want to really supercharge its power. That's going to be a little bit down the road, I think. Now, I got pulverizers here and I have seven hexes to work with, so I can destroy all the small ones and maybe a big one. Yeah, I should be able to easily be able to destroy a big one. The question is, how do I prioritize? Because I don't know if they're going to converge on me or not. Let's see, that does 20 damage, and that's just a large one, mind you. That does a whopping, wow, a whopping 45, 187 health. So, overlords I could take out, it's going to be a little bit of damage, and that thing looks nasty. I just want to have a quick look at it, because I didn't bother to look at it. Is it going to show me it? I just want to look at it. It's just a black ship. It's real all it is. Nothing exciting at all. Wow. Oh well. Let's just get this over with quickly. I don't think there's any risk. There are no points of damage. No surprise. Interesting what interesting ship though. And that is a large ship. I was about to say capital, but it might as well be. Considering it categorizes it as a capital large ship. Whoop. That's something I need to get used to. Zooming in increases the scrolling. Alright, so how many more can I destroy? Potentially I can destroy all of them, but I would like to try and kill the bigger ones too. That I can get away with. And how much hexes do I have left? Three. So I think it's safe to say I want to back up. And then chip away at them some more next turn. Hmm. And pulverizers, I'm gonna have reinforced with the star base, I think. Oh crap. Uh, so much for that. The pulverizer decided to get isolated. It's not gonna be able to join in at all anytime soon. Uh, this one's not gonna make it either. No, one hex. So I'm they're not gonna be able to do any damage. 
which is going to restrict me a bit. We have mo a bunch of moths here. Was it just eight? So I can chip away at some of the small ones, but why should I don't think I need to worry about them? I'm gonna let the elves worry about them or the sailing. So can we destroy this? We could deal with those, this one and the sovereign ones relatively easily. If the top one needs to be matched. I need to be able to respond in time. I have six movement. So there's four moves to go in and then two to go back out. The only thing I don't know is if they're going to kind of... They're going to join together or not, merge together to make themselves even more dangerous. That's the only thing I'm not certain of. Are they actually going to be smarter than the Salins have been with their army? That would be quite the insult to the Salins, wouldn't it? Oh. Surprise surprise, more pirates. So there's pirates everywhere causing harassment issues. This is going to be fun. My plans to invade the Salins further has been sword for the time being. And there's not a lot I can do about it. Fireflies can be useful here, but they're not going to do a whole lot. And we have... Oh, we have a massive moth fleet down here. It looks like more pirates down south from Harper. So, there are a lot of them. There are a lot of those shipyards around. And the, who wants to bet there could, there, there could be more in this fog of war that I have no idea about either. I wonder, did I trigger that or was that in this... Or did that occur with the event that I had that got me all that pragmatic... Increase in pragmatic and the research and manufacturing bonus, I wonder. Maybe that's what it had something to do with. Otherwise, I'm going to have to back off a bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to have to get the swarms to check south to make sure that there's no more surprises otherwise. And I'm confident these pulverizers could destroy these ships here. Although that overlord's going to be a pain in the ass. I need to kill that before it does too much damage. Before it goes after that ship starbase, it doesn't have the firepower to deal with it right now. I'm likely going to lose one uh, pulverizer there. My shipyards are building and our pulverizer is going to finish in a moment. And that shipyard is idle. And I need to be ready to jump them if any of them decide to go into my territory. So that's what this fleet here will be with all the swarmers. They are nicely sacrificial. Can I get there with nine hexes? No, I only have four. I only have four movements, so what do I want to do with this? Where do I want to put it? Because I don't think I need to upgrade Tracy, do I? Let's see. Because, yeah, I already decided again. I need double the re support field. I need, like, another upgrade to the support field to get both these worlds in for purposes of culture, anyway. So... Uh, hopefully if it survives then I can upgrade it because I want to upgrade for the relic anyway and what do I want going here I think I'll try some pulverizers it's gonna take a little bit longer than Miranda will because I think this is only building what three two turns two turns and I don't know if that applied the extra manufacturing yet or not from the trait so we'll have to see because I think that occurred on the same turn here. It, it wasn't last turn. I don't believe the event happened, so... There is not really... I don't think it... I'm losing my train of thought, dammit. I'm, I'm probably a little bit in crisis mode here, trying to focus while all the why relay what the hell I'm thinking, which is a lot harder than it seems. I'll just say that much. Otherwise, I think we're in good shape here for these two. I don't think I'm going to save that starbase though. Even with the constructors on the way. So we're going to have to let the pirates go and see what they do. Moment of truth, folks. At least I have another turn before the starbase is at risk. Just a matter if I can do enough damage to kind of deter them from attacking or heck. 
If I really want to, I could just... Oh, that's what I was afraid of. They're reinforcing the fleet. That was what I'm afraid of. You hear that, Thalens? You're crap compared to these pirates. They're far more organized than you. You're not going to let this insult happen, are you? So, safe to say I could take out the pirate frigate with a little bit of consequence. Or actually, I'll let my pulverizers do that. Uh, now, how do I tell... There we go. I was trying to remember how to move it out, so... If nothing else, I'm going to have these destroy this large pirate ship. Because I'm confident the pulverize can do that with relatively little damage. If any, maybe. They took some damage. Now, we get the fun hassle of dealing with these guys. Which we can actually do. I'm just interested to see what this overlord looks like. So, what are we going... Let's have a look at this thing. Big massive ship. Going to get murdered, here's hoping. There goes its there goes its escort fleet. <laughs> yep, this thing's not long for the, this world. Although it is going to destroy one of my moths in the process. Fearsome little thing, isn't it? And it could take a beating. Yeah, I lost one moth and I nearly lost the second one, so that was efficient for what it was. Now, wait, okay, I was wondering why it didn't destro explode just yet. Now, try and destroy these last ones quickly. I don't have enough movement, though. Can I get it here? With this other pulverizer? Yes, I can. So, this one's safe. This has been cleared. We have three pulverizers. We could pretty much rendezvous with this other one. And they, I already know for a fact, can destroy that with little issue. What's been happening up here? Wow. I might save this uh, starbase after all, because it doesn't look like they are even noticing it just yet. Is it worth upgrading, though? Sounds like a crazy question. Oh, wait. I already know why. It is worth upgrading, considering that this was going to be... Yeah, I was going to upgrade this to be more defensive anyway, because it is along my territory borders. So, sensor scanners can wait. And I have a lot of weaponry. What does this give me? This gives me 15 points of damage overall. In exchange for 18. So I think I want to focus on that. Yeah, it says plus 10. But this is plus 18. And I don't know if that's a separate... Actually, I don't know if that's stacked separately, so... That's something I will seriously need to check. So let's see. Particle beams and then additional defense. So if I'm understanding this right, that will be 23 on top of that, so I should be at 29 energy when that upgrade happens. I'll need to check that to be certain. Because I need those upgrades to keep that starbase alive. And I know there's another starbase there. I'll let the Ayor worry about that for now. And this top sector looks perfectly safe. So beetles, I will let you oversee the destruction of everything in this quadrant, this sector, pirate or otherwise. I just gotta be careful that they have reinforced their fleet. At least partially. I should be perfectly fine, so I can destroy that one there. The large was a medium. Yeah, it's a medium ship, so that's gone. Once it decides to blow up. Then we can easily deal with that next turn. Actually, this fleet of swarmers can do that for me, right? No, outside fleet range. Never mind. That was a dumb question. That already been answered. It looks like the oaf took out a couple of pirates for me there. Because what, there were six there? I just. Yeah, there's four left over. 
So I think the Oaf managed to destroy two of the smaller cruisers. So, Sankey Sailings, you actually are useful for a change. So, can I get that there one turn? Nine hexes, yeah I can. Use all the action points. I don't want to keep, I don't want to resort to upgrade defenses though, because that would be a bit of a waste. I don't like that. So we'll get the information hub, try and get some more culture there. Because it's not even gonna be able to reach any world, so I don't need the support field. Now how do I destroy well like I'm gonna just have to commit to find the overlord, I think. Is really what it comes down to, or... Actually, I'll just garrison the Starbase for now until I get some reinforcements. I don't think the Firefly is going to help me too much, aside for be like a buffer or something. Only thing I can really think of that the Fireflies would be good for. And we got a fourth Pulverizer, perfect. So, what? I sh actually, I should send it down south. I don't need up in the middle there. Yeah, we still got a lot more pirates to deal with. Swarming here. I just want you to see if there's any more surprises down south for me. Because there may be more that I do not know about. I don't want to be caught off guard. Hmm, and we got another one there I already mentioned. So I think we're good, actually. Going to be a little bit awkward. We're going to have to deal with them up top for a little while until I can get some actual ships there. Because I can't risk moving this fleet just yet. Because it won't be able to defend the Starbase should the pirates or even the assailants decide to push forward. So they have their their need it there. And this Starbase hopefully will be upgraded next turn enough to at least repel the majority of them. But when there's three ships strong, that's gonna be a problem. Well, not as much, it's just one medium ship and then two smaller. Huh. They want me to declare war on the Iconians. Interesting. In exchange for tech. Uh, as much as I would like to help them, since they're kind of allies and on good relations with me, I am kind of fighting the strongest race in the game right now. So I cannot help them, not to mention I don't even know where the Iconians are, so... I'm not exactly being helpful. Oh, and the turn just ended, so what the hell did those pirates just do? Did they do anything at all? I see them not really doing anything. So I don't know what happened. Yeah, 29, that's what I said. So that actually upgraded nicely there. So that's quite formidable. Huh. That's weird. I always thought they were going to be a bigger threat than they actually were. Was I worrying for nothing? I don't know, but let's group up this fleet here and take out this threat. Only two ships. Mainly to try and minimize damage against the Overlord. There, it took a fair amount of damage. None of them was actual resu actually resulted in losing a ship though, so I'm good. So, I think I want to get the Starbase going here. Because I look safe. So I'm going to get the Constructor Starbase going here. That way I can actually reach the Gallifrey system there. Because as you can see, I do not have to reach without a Starbase to kind of expand it further. So that's, the, that's my plan there. We'll give this fleet another turn or two to repair. Because it took a fair amount of damage. Actually, can I garrison it? That will speed it up. I'm not sure. Because I think only can repair like four points of damage a turn. Now, eat beetles, take out that fleet. I want to be rid of these damn pirates. What's the effects end? Wow, this thing takes a while to die, doesn't it? And actually, I did a little bit of damage to my beetles. Although, who am I kidding? I only have the armor to deal with its missiles after all. That's something I need to get used to. Is something that's truly well all round it in terms of its effectiveness. And it's just a shipyard to deal with now. Perfect. So pulverizers, time for you to do your thing. 
Yeah, I should be fine. It's just a cutter that has, like, no health, right? Wow. Not even a single point of damage. Even with the extra ship there to kind of, like, be a buffer. Alright, I panicked for nothing. For no reason, apparently. That was a false alarm. My bad. So we can carry on with what we were playing. We have Deep Space Logistics about to finish, which is perfect. It's perfect because I can now use all the pulverizers I built to kind of like get a large fleet ready to break through the garrison. I just need to kill these shipyards so that way, or at least get rid of the handful of them. So that way, I lost my train of thought. Didn't I have a pulverizer coming down here. I thought I had a pulverizer come in. Oh wait, I do. I It's already down here, that's why. I just chose to repair it. I'm an idiot. Losing my train is not completely, wow. And I think I'm overextending a little bit. But I still will have two turns before that starbase comes under attack. And now do I have any constructors left? Do I think I moved them all up here in the panic, so... I'll finish follow through with that. This is Miranda. So what I want is some wasp. I could get a handful of them quickly. Nice. Get three wasps going there and then I'll keep going with the pulverizers. Cause we're doing amazing on the production now because of that boost. So I can't complain one bit. We just need a couple of turns to kind of clean up this mess first before I can push out aggressively. Heck. Yeah, and that's building pulverizers for me too, so if anything I should just have the Secleon shipyard responsible for cleaning up the mess up here. Which might be a problem because... wait a minute. Okay, I was wondering where the hell the Overlord went and it's... For some reason underneath... they all clumped together for some reason. Oh. Oh, that explains why they're not all massing together, is because they don't have the logistics to actually do that. Still, they are far more organized than the Salins right now. Because they can't even get their plants out, oh, they can't even get their garrison and ships to leave the plant to defend themselves or fight off any threat. Which probably I could abuse as well, to be fair. It might not be as uh, big of a deal as I make it out to be. And we got ourselves extra moth. So I... We're good here. I just need the pulverizers. To clean up this shipyard now. Perfect, I can kill the shipyard but I can't get the other ship. But thankfully that's what this other fleet's for. There. Another perfect uh, clean sweep. No damage at all. So we're looking at four more pirate shipyards in my space. Oh. And we got more pirates here to clean up. And a sailing on the side. So I might as well help the sailings clean up their mess, cause the pay the payment I'm gonna ask for down the road is pretty much all their territory, all the worlds. That's how I'm gonna have them thank me. By pay me back with their colonists, with their world, so... Ooh. Okay, I saw for a moment that there was like a plant here, but I guess not. I'm not seeing one anyway. Nope, doesn't look like there's any plant, so... The sailors will pay up soon. I just need to get the pulverizers all rallied together. And come to think of it, and as I mentioned, how close are they repaired? Wow! That one firefly took all the damage. I don't think I want that with this fleet then. Until it can recover. Although I have no idea how much I actually repaired in that case. Which is something I want to make a note of but never really did check. And pulverizers do your thing. Damn it. I just want the pulverizers by himself. There, thank you. I thought just select them then doing a move command would just eject them automatically. 
Now, how's damage looking? Perfect. No damage at all. Remerge, merge them together. Wait, why? There we go. I was wondering why it wouldn't let me create, select them together. Hmm. That was weird. Now, onward, onward and upward. Although, this, because of the pirates are pulling everything back, I can't really push forward that much. Except with these pulverizers, I could start making them head south. What the hell do you think you're doing? Sailors, what part of staying on your side of territory do you not understand? And there we go, logistics 10. I'm gonna have to check see what my new, ma new max is now. And that begs the question, do I want to continue on with my infrastructure? I think I want economy as well though. Let's see. Actually, let me see what the... Is there... Oh, never mind. I was going to ask if there was another level to the logistics. Oh, that's not until I get access to the last... The last age, so never mind. Never mind there. So there is one more, so I can only get maybe like ten more logistics. To maximize my size. Alright. And we get... Yeah, precursor studies, that would be useful with all the modules or relics I have access to, rather. To even boost my relics even further, that would be nice. What do I want? I c I'm completely stumped. I can't remember what it is I had in mind. I guess getting specialists in, like, my infantry will be good. And come to think of it, I need my infantry troops, don't I? I'm kind of, I've, I know the original plan was planetary bombardment, but I'm kind of questioning it now because that means destroying more of their superior type of structures that I could use to my advantage, and that is not something I want. I want to try and preserve all their buildings if I can. I just, it just gives me very little information about what exactly all that warfare does. I can imagine what it does, I just don't know the uh, specifics and nuance to it. So I'm left wondering a little bit. There we are. Are those pirates going to do anything or are they just going to float there? I guess they're not going to do anything. Weird. And I was so worried about them to begin with and now they are completely useless. At least this one will be fully upgraded as far as defenses. There's still more to be done, but I think I can be comfortable saying, knowing that it can fend for itself for the time being. Being a mining ship, anyway. Let's see, that's two small ships in the medium. That's not a threat. Let's try and clean up the mess so we can continue on with our evasion plan. Because these pulverizers are so damn important. Come to think of it. What's the damage? The Firefly took damage, so I think I want to say keep the Firefly alive. Try and preserve my fleet some. Oh, and this is only two small ships. See, two. I overreacted there a bit. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. I was wondering where the Overlord was. So they may take a little bit of damage, but thankfully they have the armor to deal with all its weapon types there. In the process. Yeah, I only lost like 30 points. And enough action points to attack the starbase or shipyard. I might be overextending a little bit because I could take a lot of damage here. Nope. That glitch has just happened again, folks. For some reason. I just regenerate all my health from that. I don't understand why. And again, I forgot what health that Firefly was at, so I'm going to have to double check. Because I don't know if that garrison actually did regenerate my health any or not. Pulverizer, you're going to join up with the rest. Oh, and that's... Yeah, Constructor is about to finish, so I'll have that. Come over here. 
How close can I get? I can build Starbase there, but can I get any closer? I want to be as greedy as I can. Nope. That's about as close as I can get because of those two Starbases, damn it. And this is my first fresh Starbase that I built that actually can use that ideology point for. So I should, yeah, I have three upgrades available to me. So perimeter scanner, sector scanner, and culture ring. I don't think I need military ring. Just saying, because I'm going to keep pushing forward. So it's a pretty, I don't think it's that big of an issue just yet. I'm in no rush and these pulverizers have done their job up top so they can make their way south. Oh, did I forget about you? What is the fastest ship I have here? Oh, they're all the same speed, so not a big deal. Where the hell is this constructor going? Because I do have all the relics on my side of the map, right? Or is that signifying I don't? As far as I'm concerned, I have everything, so where the hell is that constructor going? Maybe I should let one live for now and see what happens. Because clearly it's trying to build a shipyard somewhere. Or starbase, rather. I think that's my plan there. I'll try and be show a little bit of uh, restraint. And let them violate my territory first. And then I'll deal with them once I find out their plans. So, how many pulverizers are we looking at? we got three down here, four, five, six, seven pulverizers, and there's an eight. We got eight pulverizers. We're going to assume they're all at four logistics, maybe. So yeah, even if I had ten of them, that would be 40 logistics out of 53, wow. And that could fit like five wasp together with it. That's going to be a, a vicious fleet. Especially with, like I said, 10 pulverizers. 10 pulverizers alone can take out all the 12 ships on each of the worlds. And still have a little bit extra logistics tied over. So I think we're good. I just need, was it, one more pulverizer at least? Unless there's one roaming around, I don't know where it's at. Otherwise, I think we're doing good. Wow, did I actually build two wasps here? Before, oh never mind, it's only one. 